YouTube Shorts is filled with some of the sloppish content ever known to man. Whether it be those, you know, hustler videos, or whether it be some video riding your attention span, or Mr. Beast, well, it's going to be filled with stupid content. Now, one of the stupid sloppish content creators on YouTube Shorts is a guy called Master Ugwe. Now, who is Master Ugwe? Well, to summarize it briefly, he got famous off of some Ugwe impression and also some stupid face he would make. And, you know, he started developing more and more as a fucking parasite on social media, and then he went into a boxing match where I think he might have gotten seen to eat because he's starting to act like Chris Benoit but without all the murderous intent. But why the fuck am I even talking about him? Well, because he decided to play the victim card and then went so insane he decided to farm engagement on Twitter. But why? Well, I'll explain. See, one thing of Uguay's quote-unquote brand, as he likes to call it, is his edgy humor, which is nothing but- <laughs> Guys, look at me. I'm so funny. I graduated from the Coloss School of Comedy where the N-word is really funny and nothing else is. Why? Because my humor is so fucking bland. But basically, he made a video that has a, um, well, how do I describe it briefly? A famous mustached Austrian painter in the title. And in this title, he calls, you know, the famous mustache Austrian painter his N-word. And, you know, people aren't happy with the video because it has, you know, the Austrian painter and the N-word in the fucking title. So people report the video for a pretty fair reason. And then, you know, he gets mad and plays the victim card all on twitter and actually tries convincing youtube that he's not a hateful guy he's friends with a black guy or well he seems to only really care when it fits him and suits him by being oh i'm not a hateful guy look i'm friends with a minority the person that he's posing with here is another influencer by the name of man like isaac who's known for making skits and he's only really seeming to bring up his name to suit his benefits by saying look guys i'm not i'm not a, i'm not hateful i'm not that offensive guys i, I i'm not racist i just have a black friend here oh and you know youtube is like oh we're not gonna reinstate the video and he's like is this how you treat your creators after four years of making content it's actually quite fucking funny when i first heard about it I was actually laughing but you know he basically is just throwing a fucking hissy fit at people reasonably reporting the video and youtube not reinstating said reasonably reportable video so rather than actually you know fucking learn from this he just decides to engagement farm let's take a look at these awful posts shall we this one isn't really engagement farming but rather than just him being an idiot not knowing how to react to someone saying that his career is dying and that he should just actually be the bigger man instead he just decides to just fucking flex views because yeah yeah i can't i can't react to this argument guys i don't know how to counter it so i have to flex here's him comparing himself to the p diddy of cats himself shane dawson which here okay people still haven't forgiven shane dawson and they never will and quite frankly he still gets a lot of hate to this day but sure anything to help engagement farm because my career is so fucking dead in the dirt. Here's him admitting to being fully irrelevant by just comparing himself to another irrelevant person. Like, bro, Keem has not been relevant since 2016. I'm sorry, but, you know, great job on admitting that you're irrelevant. Here's him using the whole Palestine thing for engagement bait because he really needs to rack in the views, guys. I was gonna post more of these, but quite frankly, it just rivals too mad in terms of terminally online. Oh, and of course, Keemstar is defending him because, uh, yeah, Keemstar very, uh... Let's just say he has very nice things to say about a man named Alex. Hmm. Yeah, the fucking garden gnome who hasn't been relevant in 2016 definitely knows how it feels. He's like, finally, someone just like me. I know some Uguay fans. God, it makes me fucking, you know, it makes me gag every time I'm thinking that he has a fan base. I already know the Uguay crybabies are going to comment on this video. Something about how I don't get the joke and how, oh, it's just edgy humor. I don't fucking care, dude. It's not even edgy humor. At least that has a punchline. Just keep praying to your CT. E slop content creator, okay? Wow.